is there any way to improve testosterone levels without the use of exogenous hormones? Is it possible and is it sometimes helpful to uh, induce the body to make and want to make more testosterone, both for men and women? Both men and women need testosterone. Both men and women need estrogen. Where does testosterone come from? It's a rhetorical question, but where, is, where does testosterone come from? Well, testosterone is a hormone, and essentially all of the hormones come from DHEA and or cortisol. They're known as the stress pair. We measure cortisol and DHEA in the saliva routinely. You can measure testosterone, both free and bound, Actually, no. Technically, in the saliva, you would only be measuring free. Uh, if you want to know more accurately, then you would look in the blood for free and bound testosterone. It's the free that's active. Um, but um, many uh, endocrine specialists uh, feel it's important to know the what's called SHBG, the sex hormone binding globulin, um, which is what the testosterone get and estrogen get stuck onto for the most part. Why is it important to raise it? Well, it's your get up and go. And very often there's what's called pregnenolone steel. So you start down the pathway to make testosterone. You go through pregnenolone and you get to the just before the testosterone step and now you steal that pre-testosterone and turn it into an estrogen called estradiol which you don't want an excess of. It's not the worst estrogen, but it's not the better estrogen. It's not the estriol. And so when I see someone who's um, one of the three estrogens is excessive and the testosterone is low, that's a pregnenolone steal until otherwise disproven, because that's very, very likely the case. And for those people, the mindfulness practice that we build into the recommendations in the report of practicing um, the art of stillness. If you want to break a pregnenolone steel, you must reduce the internal anxiety, the internal um, distraction that people feel. Now, when people start practicing what I will call active meditation, 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes in the evening, pick one place and be consistent, and hopefully a low stimulation environment. When people begin to practice that, very often it helps for some people to use music. For other people, it helps to use a candle. And you soften your gaze um, until in, in essence, you become one with the flame. There are many possible techniques. You can use what's called a mantra, which is usually a sound given in some ceremony that is significant to the individual. So there are many ways. I recommend active meditation, the Western tradition by Dr. Robert Leichman uh, as a uh, access point to help break pregnenolone steel syndromes. Acupuncture can be helpful in raising testosterone, but now we get to the most important, the most important. If you really want to raise uh, testosterone, walk for more than 45 minutes a day, get up for five minutes an hour if you sit in any uh, office-like or uh, chair-like situation, sit on hard surfaces, not soft surfaces, um, and wiggle be free in your motion so that the third space fluid, what's called lymphatic fluid, moves around. Do a little weight-bearing exercise. See if you can do one or two push-ups. And if you can do two, maybe you'll eventually do three. And if you can do 30, congratulations, maybe you'll do 32. When you use your muscles, you send signals that increase the synthesis of testosterone. Notice I have not suggested taking exogenous testosterone, and I don't. And I don't for a very simple reason. I know that many colleagues do, but I want your body to make the testosterones and estrogens that you need. I want them to be healthy, and I want to measure them to make sure they're there. 
Um, but I don't want to give you testosterone because of what's called feedback inhibition. If your body senses testosterone, like you've given someone exogenous testosterone, the pituitary says, oh, you don't need the hormone signal to make more testosterone because I sense that you have testosterone. So you become testosterone dependent. Um, this is an aside, but especially with young people, if they like bodybuilding, restrain them to some extent because there are many infertile bodybuilders who during their adolescence bulked up their muscles, they hypertrophied, they didn't get new muscle cells, they didn't get hyperplasia, which is what I want, new muscle cells. They bulked up their, their muscles at the expense of making more estrogen and less testosterone. Um, that, however, would only apply to people who are exercising hours a day. That, that is, I want to encourage young people to get away from their screens and get outside and run around and be active. That will never overdo, in fact, that'll work off some of the testosterone in, in some young people. Um, so I hope I'm being clear about why physiologically it's important to have healthy testosterone and estrogens in both men and women and how to get there through the joy of living the alkaline way um, without the risks uh, of feedback inhibition or um, sometimes giving more than is needed, uh, which does shut down certain other synthetic pathways in the body. 